Hi everyone, hope all of you are doing great. So finally, in this video, we're going to test out all the feature and functionality we have included in our chat GTP web 3.0. So we have built all the component in our chat page and now we're going to test that out. So before we test that, I want you to do a little bit changes in the code. So the very first thing we have to do is come back to the pages. Under the pages, we have this chat page because this is what we are working on. And here you have to import the script. So first thing you have to import the script because we have built all the functionality. But if you don't connect the script, it's not going to work. So make sure to import the script and this script is coming from the public folder. So this is the script we have built and that's what we are importing. And this scripts allow us to make a call to our chat bot. So once you import the script, after that, you have to come back to the script, simply open the script. And here we have to do a little bit changes because when I was testing this code, I found a little bit bugs, some spelling mistakes. So that's the rectification we're going to do here. So first thing, come here in the script, which is inside the public folder and make sure to give the exact spelling which I have given. Make sure to import the exact way. So make sure to pause the video and try to compare code. So the very first change you have to do in the loader section. So here you have to provide this dot. So earlier it was just like this, but you have to provide this dot because here we are looking for a dot. And after that, we are creating a new line. So that's the thing you have to provide. And here you have to provide four dots, not three dots. So earlier we had only three dots and because of that our loader was not working when I was testing locally. So make sure to provide this four dot. This is the four dot you have to provide and this will be the same. So this is the first change you have to do in this loader function. Make sure to pause the video and try to compare code. So now once you're done with that, now come back here in this function type card. So simply compare your code that is there any mistake you have committed. Here we don't need to do any changes. So first we are passing the element and the text. We are taking the index and we are simply rendering the component. This is fine. Here we have the generate ID. This is also fine. We are just taking the timestamp, creating the random number, and then we are assigning that to our element as an ID. So that's the fine generate ID. We, have, we don't need to do any changes. And here we have to do the changes. So here you can see here we have the chat stripe. And the only change you have to do is here you have to provide this dynamic classes because we have to change the class of our icon of our of our entire wrap element. So this is the dynamic HTML we are injecting once we are getting the response from our open AI and then we are injecting that. So make sure to provide this class. So we have this class wrapper, but this is what we have to add. So if is AI is responding, then we have to add this particular class. Otherwise, we don't want to add it. So this is the exact thing you have to include. So make sure to pause and have a look. So once you're done with that, here you have to do one thing. So you can see we are calling this particular function. Make sure to check the spelling. So we don't need to do any changes here. So this is absolutely fine. And this is absolutely fine. And this looks good. We are passing this change. So earlier what I did, I by mistake, I provided this, provided this comma, but it will be like this slash because that's how you have to pass the data in a JSON format to our API. So make sure to do these changes here and the rest should be fine. Now here we can see that here we have the clear interval and here we have the message.div in HTML. So make sure to provide the space. And here we are simply interacting with our response and we are passing the information to our chatbot. And here we are simply typing that. So this is for the AI. And now here you can see here we have built some custom logic to display the display the free trial so that's the information we are storing in the local storage so you don't need to do anything in here so this would be fine and if i open this else statement you can see this is absolutely fine we don't need to do anything here so make sure to do all the changes and you have to do one more changes so here you, we have this we have the adamant lister on the submit so when someone will type the text and hit enter we are calling the function so earlier what i did i simply provided this and because of that i was getting an error when I was testing to make sure to remove this function and just call the function name and this is absolutely fine. So this is all the changes you have to do here in the script file. Okay. So this is the changes you have to do. So again, I'm going to slowly drag it slowly, slowly. So you guys can pause and compare your code again, compare your code. So that looks good. I hope you guys have compare your code and you guys have no issues in this with that. Let's move to the next component. So if I come here, now the second change we have to do is in here. So we have to go back to the component and here we have the chat component. Inside the chat component, we have to go into the form. 
click on that and here we have to simply do a couple of changes so the very first change we have to do is i by mistake i called the wrong button it was i i was i called m but it's n okay so this is the spelling mistake i had done i don't know why my emit is not working i have to look at the extension that why it's not working because when i'm typing the tag it's not getting auto complete so that's the problem i'm having so maybe i have to reinstall this particular vs code so this is the only change you have to do and here you have to simply compare we are comparing the address of the pro user with the current address and we are simply taking this so make sure to provide this particular one, not capital d so here you can see here i have written that earlier i had written this capital d but if you come back here in the context inside the context we have index and here we have the information so here we have the user information address and this is the ex expired date with a small d we have the cost we have the membership id and that's the id so that's the check you have to do and you have to compare with the current date okay so that's the things looks good to me and the rest to be fine make sure to do the changes so right now you can see here we have the bug it's called not bs it's called ds but we have to call bs so remove it and we'll call bs so then it will work fine so save it so that's the changes you have to do so wherever we have used ds make sure to change with bs so that looks good and let's have a look one more time and the rest should be fine and here we have to do the changes bs you can see i have written this changes and and here you have to do the changes so earlier what i did i simply type with a small and because of that my click function and the enter function was not working so make sure to provide this capital c capital c and that will fix your issue so that looks good we don't need to do any changes in here so these are the two changes we have to do and uh, let's have a look at the chatting component do we have to do anything in here so this would absolutely fine and uh, make sure to change this bs all the changes you have to do we have already done that so things are looking pretty good things are looking pretty good and now we can test this out so let me close this one and now let's start the application without the server okay we have to start the server if we want to use that so let's test this out so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this artifact and i'm going to delete this cache after that we have to simply do a couple of things cache and after that simply open up your now let me zoom a bit and let's open up your terminal so now we have to get into the server folder so we'll say cd ser ver server and then we have to start our server npm run vr server and this will start our server on localhost 4000 that's the very first thing we have to do then simply split our terminal and now let's deploy our contract so now what i will do is i have to simply start my local blockchain so simply get out of that so we have to simply out get out of the server folder come to the main directory the chat gtp dap folder and now we have to start our local blockchain so we'll type npx hard hat note and this will start the application so just wait here you can see it's give us 20 plus account now let's split the terminal and now we have to simply deploy our contract so now we have to simply deploy npx hard hat run and we are deploying to the local host hit enter and it will generate the address of the contract and here we have and here we got the artifact here we have this if you come back to the context we already have an artifact so if you can you can go with the old one there is no problem in that but let's drag and drop here and things are look our contract is deployed and this is the address which is already there so if we come back to the context no matter when you will deploy your own first contract this is the hard it will generate the address so we got our application deployed and now we can simply start our application so simply type let's say clear terminal i'll type npm run dev hit enter and this will start our application so you can see we have no issues so far now what i want you come back here and let me bring this down and here i have committed this function so let's comment out this the function so it will fetch all the information from our contract and i haven't done any changes in here so this is the entire thing here you can see that make sure to do this change so earlier i had a small d but it's a capital D. So that's what I have mentioned here. Then we can able to fetch the balance of our if, a data. Then we can able to fetch the data of our expiry date. So it's a capital D because this is what we have assigned in our smart contract. So if we come back in the smart contract, you can see we have this capital D. So that's the thing you have to do. 
so that's the mistake i have done so make sure to do this change and the rest would be fine we don't need to do anything in here anything here so the rest would be fine so now we can simply come back to the browser and let's test this out so we have this five out of zero so if i show you the show you the local host because right now we are storing the information in our local host so there is the information is there so let me remove that one and this will work fine okay we have five slash zero so we can use it as a free version so you can simply type like if you type something like write a la letter for office i don't know why i'm writing this same question over and over again and here i'm you'll get the response you can see i'm getting the response from our ai and it's working absolutely fine and you can see here it's updated to one so everything is working fine everything is working fine but if you come back to the pro right now we have no information so right now we're displaying this hard code plan membership plan so the free trial is working absolutely fine you can see it's working absolutely fine now let's test this out okay let's start let's complete this entire free trial let's say hi chat g gpt and where i am i don't know what response it will give hi and let's see what it will say it's given me this particular code i don't know why when you will ask this one or two line question is give this and the last one is going to be tell me joke okay my spelling is bad so i'll say what is the fish say when it's hit the wall damn okay you can see our our free trial is over and now it's got disappeared so if i reload we can't able to use it we can't able to use it so now we have to take the subscription so let's come back here so here we are in the index page and you can see we are simply calling our function so if you come back here what i'm doing here is i'm just simply creating a first membership for one matty for one month so just save it and come back to the browser and here you can see we have the button looks everything's fine now we can simply click on this so if i click on this list membership it's going to open the metamask and here we are this is the first membership we are creating click on this confirm and here the transaction went through and we have created the very first memberships now come back to the code and let's create a second membership for the three and this will say six months save it <coughs> and click on this list membership and this is the second membership we are creating click on confirm and we have done the transaction let's come back here let's create the five one and this will call one year year and save it come back here and simply click on this membership and here it's going to create the another one so we have created the three memberships everything is working absolutely fine we have no issues in our code now what we can do is come back here in the chat page and we'll say chat and here we are in the chat page right now everything is working fine and now we have to take the membership so come back here here in the pro world and here you can see we have this three memberships so this time i'm going to take this one this is the most popular one and i'm going to click on this circle select this plan and it's going to open the metamask and here we are transferring the three matty three ether to this particular one so click on this confirm and the transaction went through and you can see it's not come here so you can simply reload the browser and here we have the input fill so now user can search so if i type how to be become a chain developer and hit enter and it's going to give you the response it's searching and it will give you the response so here it will give you the response and right now you can see that you are the pro member and as soon as you buy you are in the pro member and you can is able to use it so this time i'm asking on the any section you can select anyone and it will work absolutely fine so let's see what advice it gave us so far things are looking absolutely great we have no issues in this one and here we have the joining online community and attending local meetup so this is the response we are getting if you want to ask for a ask for a code you can say so I give s o l i d s o l i d 
code example and you can ask anything you want so it's 100 percent working fine and you can select all the tabs and you can ask your queries so every single thing is working fine everything is working fine like so if you come back here right now you can see that we are into the pro member so that's how you can use it i hope you guys are enjoying this project and everything's looking fine to me you can do the same thing you can attach this functionality here as well but i will leave that on you guys i want you to connect the function we have created so right now here we are promoting this three days so let me do it for you guys so here we have this entire component come back to the component in the chat and here we have the model and here we have the button so we are calling promoting this one all you have to do is in that simply call the function have a have a on click function and simply call the function the function we have and pass the id so let's come back here in the index and here we have the functionality call call subscription so you can simply get it so you can simply take that copy that one and you can come back to the model you can come here in the model and here you are in the models and simply come here you want the model and now come back here in the subscriptions and get back get it this one come here and come here and simply call that but here you have to keep one thing in mind that you have to provide the right location so let's remove this one that slash get out of that now we have to get in the context and then we have to simply get it so we are getting the functions we have the function and now all we have to do is simply call this one and we can simply call this function right up here right up here and in that you have to pass the id so this time we're going to simply pass let's say we are promoting the three matting so we'll pass the id too and in this way we can easily able to have that function so user can come here so let me reload the page and user can simply click on that and they can take that one we have no issues in that okay so every single thing is working fine and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video in the next video we're going to start working on our home page so this is the page on which we're going to work and we're going to build in one video after this particular home page we're going to build the login functionality and then we're done with this project but the main focus we gave in this project in this that how we can attach the memberships with the help of smart contract and how we can restrict the users based on the free trial and the paid trial so hope you guys have liked this project now let's move to the next video and that we're going to build our home page